Hi, today we're going to be learning about using mixed operations when we're working with integers. So now we're first going to just remind you about the order of operations. So when we're working with integers, we have to be careful, or when we're working with mixed operations, we have to be careful that we do our calculations in the correct order. So a reminder, we use bed mass where B is for brackets, E is for exponents, which we haven't got to yet, but we're going to be getting to that soon. D and M go together and they are for division and multiplication. A and S also go together and they are for addition and subtraction. Okay, so that is what we're going to be using while we're doing our calculations. We need to make sure that we do all of our operations in the correct order. Okay, and also a reminder that if you have more than uh, one type of calculation within your brackets, you have to apply bed mass within the brackets as well. Okay, so let's have a look at an example. So in this example, I'm just going to make this big so you can see it nicely. In this example, we have got 3 multiplied by then in brackets, 6 times 2 minus 4 times 5 minus 4 times in brackets, 5 minus 8. We're going to close the brackets, minus open brackets again, 2 minus 18 divided by 3. Close the brackets, times open brackets, 3 times 2 minus 10. So this is a very long calculation. Okay, so let's put this back down so that we can look at how to actually do this. Okay, so now remember when we're working with mixed operations, the first thing we're going to do is our brackets. So our brackets, we have to look inside and see is there more than one type of calculation that's happening in here. I've got multiplication, I've got division, I've got subtraction, so I've got a few different things happening inside my brackets. So within the brackets, we're going to apply bed mass as well. So there's no brackets within the brackets, which can happen, but we don't have any of that. So, and we don't have any exponents. So we're going to go on to division and multiplication inside the bracket. So that is what we're going to be simplifying first. So I've got three, and then inside my brackets, I've got six times two, that's multiplication, so I'm gonna do it now. So I've got 12 minus four times five, it's also multiplication, so I do that now. That's 20 minus four times open brackets, five minus eight is subtraction, so I'm not doing that yet. Minus. Then in this bracket over here, the 2 is not being multiplied or divided by anything, so it stays as it is. But then I've got minus 18 divided by 3 gives me 6. Times, in the last set of brackets, I've got 3 times 2 is 6. And minus 10. Okay, so now I've done all of my multiplication and division inside the brackets. Now I need to go and do my addition and subtraction inside the brackets. Okay, so now I've got 3 then 12 minus 20 is negative 8. Remember, we are going to, because they're opposite signs, we're going to subtract the absolute values and take the sign of the, the one with a higher absolute value. So uh, the 20 has a higher absolute value, so 20 minus 12 is 8, and then because the 20 has the higher absolute value and it's negative, our answer is going to be negative. So that's negative 8. Minus 4 times, same thing happens over here. I take, because it's a positive and negative, I'm going to subtract the absolute values, so I'm going to say 8 minus 5, and then I take the sign of the one that has the higher absolute value, which in this case is 8, which is also negative, so it's going to be negative 3 over here, then minus, same thing happens again, 2 minus 6 gives me negative 4 times in brackets over here, 6 minus 10, same thing happens again, also gives me negative 4. Okay, so now I'm going to go and multiply into those brackets. Now I've finished with my brackets, Now and I don't have exponents, I'm going to go onto my multiplication and division that are not inside brackets. So now I'm going to go and multiply the 3 in, by the negative 8. And that gives me, remember a positive times a negative is negative, so that's negative 24. Then I've got negative 4 times negative 3, so that's a negative times a negative is positive 12. Then over here, I've got negative times negative 4 times negative 4. So three negatives is an odd number, and we said that when we have an odd number of negatives, we get a negative answer. So it's going to be negative, and then 4 times 4 is 16. So that's what you should have got, what you should get for the next line. 
And now we're going to go and simplify the addition and subtraction. So now what you can do is you can just simplify from left to right, or you can group your addition, your positives and your negatives. It doesn't really matter how you do it. Okay, I'm going to group my positives and negatives. You don't have to do it that way, but I'm going to put my, my positive first, which is the 12, and I'm going to put the minus 24 and minus 16 last, and then I'm going to simplify my negatives over here. So negative 24 minus 16, because they have the same sign, I can just add their absolute values and keep the sign the same. So that's going to be 24 plus 16, which is 40. So now I have 12 minus 40. And now because the signs are different, I'm going to subtract the absolute values and keep the sign of the one that has the higher absolute value, which in this case is the 40, which is negative. So my answer is going to be negative. And then I just say 40 minus 12, which gives me 28. So my answer for that one is negative 28. Okay. So that is how you do that example. So now we're going to go through a few examples that you're going to be working on by yourself and I'm going to give you time to do each of the examples separately. So our examples we're going to be doing now are these ones over here. And we're going to start off with question A. And I'm going to give you two minutes to work on that. Okay, you should hopefully be done with that question by now, so let's go through that example. So for question A, we had 3 minus 5 in brackets plus 3 plus 4 in brackets minus 2 minus 4 in brackets minus 8 minus 5 in brackets plus 6 minus 12 in brackets. Okay, so we're going to start off. Our bed mass rule says we're going to start off with the things inside the brackets. So I'm going to have 3 minus 5, so each of these, it's only got additional subtraction, so I can go straight on to doing the additional subtraction. So 3 minus 5, that should give you negative 2, because you have opposite signs, so you subtract the absolute values and take the sign of the, the one of the higher absolute values, so that's negative 2. Plus, over here, 3 plus 4 is positive 7, minus, you don't have to write the plus there, minus 2 minus 4, or, and you even don't have to write the brackets. You could have left the brackets out because there's no minus there to worry about. Okay, then over here, minus 2 minus 4 gives me negative 2 minus, then 8 minus 5 is 3. So because it's positive, I'm not going to worry about writing the brackets. Like over here, I didn't have to. I could have left out the brackets there as well. Okay, and then the last one, plus 6 minus 12 is negative 2. 6. So now let's just go and drop the rest of those brackets so we don't have to worry about them anymore. So I've got, this is negative 2. Remember, if there's nothing in front of the bracket, it means it's just a plus. It's 0 plus. So it's going to make sure that whatever's inside the bracket is going to just stay the same. So that's negative 2 
plus 7. Then I've got a negative and a negative 2. When I have negative and negative, 2 minuses, that makes a plus 2. Minus 3, and then plus negative 6. When I've got a plus in front of the bracket, what's inside the bracket is going to stay the same, and that uh, stays minus 6 over there. So now I've got negative 2 plus 7 plus 2 minus 3 minus 6. Now again, you can just work from left to right. I'm going to group the positives and negatives. So I've got 7 plus 2. Remember, you can move things around so long as you keep the sign with the number that follows the sign. So over here, the negative belongs to the 2. It has to move with the 2. The same thing with this negative and the 3 and this minus and the 6, they belong to those numbers, they have to move with those numbers. And over here, the, the positive 7 and the positive 2, they have to stay positive. Okay, so now I'm going to put all my negatives after this. So I've got minus 2, minus 3, minus 6. Now actually here, I could even have cancelled out the plus 2 and the minus 2. So I don't even have to worry about those. Remember when you've got the same absolute value with one positive and one negative, you can just cancel them out. Okay, so over here, I've now got 7, and then negative 3 minus 6, because they have the same sign, I can add the absolute values and just keep the sign the same. So it's going to be minus 9. So then I have 7 minus 9, and that gives me negative 2. Okay, so that is what you should have got for question A. Now I'm going to give you two minutes again to work on question B. Okay, you should be done with that one, so let's go through question B. So you had 2 minus 5 in brackets times 6 plus 1 in brackets times 7 minus 10 in brackets times 5 minus 6 in brackets times 8 minus 10 in brackets and finally times 9 minus 4 in brackets. Okay, so we're going to start off by simplifying the addition and subtraction inside the brackets. So over here I've got 2 minus 5, that is negative 3, multiplied by 6 plus 1 is 7, Again, you can leave those brackets out if you want to. Multiplied by 7 minus 10 is negative 3. Multiplied by 5 minus 6 is negative 1. Times 8 minus 10 is negative 2. And finally, times 9 minus 4 is 5. Okay, so now we have got no additional subtraction to worry about after this. We're just going to be doing multiplication and division. Or multiplication really and but we need to be careful when we are multiplying remember we need to look at how many negatives we are multiplying together so I'm going to count how many negatives I have so I've got one two three four negatives because it's an even number of negatives I am going to have an, a positive answer then I'm going to go and multiply together my absolute values 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group things together. I'm going to say, I know that two times five is 10. So I'm going to multiply whatever else I have by 10. I'm not going to multiply by two and then times by five as well. I'm going to just multiply by 10 because that's going to be much easier for me. Also over here, I'm going to times the three and the three together to give me nine and then times it by seven, that gives me 63. You could have just multiplied the three by seven and get 21 and times that by three and get 63 as well. Okay, but either way, I get 63, the one doesn't make any difference, times 10 is 630. And we said that it's going to be positive because I have an even number of negatives. So that is just going to be positive 630. So that's what you should have got for question B. Now we're going to go on to question C. Again, I'm going to give you two minutes to work on this one. Okay, you should be done with question C, so let's go through that example. So for question C, we had five times in brackets, six minus two, minus three times in brackets, four minus nine, plus 10 divided by, in brackets, seven minus two, minus 12 divided by, in brackets, three minus seven. So Bedmas says I need to simplify the things in brackets first, and in the brackets, I've only got subtraction to worry about, so I don't have any multiplication or division that has to be done first. So I'm going to go straight on to doing my subtraction inside my bracket. So I have five times, then inside my brackets, four minus two is uh, four, minus three times in my brackets, four minus nine is negative five, plus 10 divided by, inside my brackets, seven minus two is five, minus 12 divided by, in my brackets, three minus seven is negative four. Okay, now, again, you don't have to write these brackets over here. If it's positive, you can just leave it out. It doesn't actually make any difference. Okay, right, now I've got to do my multiplication and division. So over here, I've got five times four is 20. They're both positive, so I don't have to worry about any signs there. Then I've got negative three times negative five, and negative times a negative is a positive. Three times five is 15. Then I've got plus 10 divided by five. They're both positive, so I'm going to have a positive. 10 divided by five is two. And then negative 12 divided by negative four. They're both negative, so it's going to give me a positive. 12 divided by four is three. Okay, so now we're going to go and simplify. I can't cancel anything out, so I'm going to, and they're, but they're already grouped. I've got all my positives. Actually, they're all positive, so I can just simplify as normal. So I've got 20 plus 15 is 35, plus 2 plus 5, that should give me 40. So your final answer for question, she, for question C is 40. 
Question D. Now for question D, I'm going to give you three minutes to work on this one. Okay, so you should be done with question D, so let's go through that example. Okay, so in question D we had 30 divided by, in brackets, 4 times 2 minus 2 times 7. Close the brackets, then minus 7 in bracket times 5 times 4 minus 5 times 6. Close the brackets, plus 3, open brackets, 2 times 4 minus 24 divided by 3. Okay, so in this case, just a reminder, if there's nothing in between something that's in front of a bracket and the bracket itself, it means multiplication. So this is a times over here and that is times over there. Okay, so we've got 30 divided by, inside the brackets we've got multiplication and division, oh, multiplication and subtraction. Here I've also got multiplication and subtraction and here I've got multiplication, division and subtraction. So remember Bedmas says that if we've got more than one type of calculation inside the brackets, I have to apply Bedmas inside the brackets first. So I'm going to be doing my multiplication and division inside the brackets first. So I've got 30 divided by, inside the brackets here, I've got 8 minus 14 minus 7, then open the brackets, 5 times 4 is 20, minus 5 times 6 is 30, plus 3 times 2 times 4 is 8, minus 24 divided by 3 is also 8. Okay, so over here I get 30 divided by, now I'm doing my subtraction inside my brackets, 8 minus 14 is negative 6, minus 7, open brackets, 20 minus 30 is negative 10, and then plus 3 times 8 minus 8, which is 0. Okay, so now I'm going to do my multiplication and division 
and get rid of those brackets over there at the same time. So I've got 30 divided by negative 6. So I've got a positive divided by negative. That gives me a negative answer. And 30 divided by 6 is 5. Then I've got negative 7 multiplied by negative 10. A negative times a negative is a positive. 7 times 10 is 70. And then 3 times 0 is 0. Okay. And that gives us negative 5 plus 70. They have opposite signs, so I'm going to subtract their absolute values, and we're going to keep the sign of the higher one, which is in this case the 70. So that's going to be positive 65. So for question D, you should have got positive 65. Right, now question E, you're also going to have three minutes to work on this one. Okay, you should be done with that, so let's go through question E. In question E, you had 5 minus 4 in brackets, minus 4 times 8, also in the same brackets, multiplied by new brackets, 9 minus 3 minus 2 times 4, close those brackets, multiplied by new in new brackets, 15 divided by 3 minus 45 divided by 5. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is a multiplication, and this is supposed to be a times over there, sorry. Our multiplication and division inside our brackets. Okay, so first of all, 5 times 4 is 20, minus 4 times 8 is 32, times. Then in the new brackets, 9 minus 3, that gives me, or divided by 3, gives me 3, minus 2 times 4 is 8, times in the new, the last set of brackets, 15 divided by 3 is 5, minus 45 divided by 5 is 9. No, yes, 9. Okay, so now I am going to go and simplify the subtraction inside those brackets. So I've got 20 minus 32, that gives me negative 12, times 
3 minus 8, that gives me negative 5, times 5 minus 9 gives me negative 4. So I've got over here three negatives that I'm multiplying together. And when we have an odd number of negatives, our answer is going to be negative. And then I'm going to multiply 12 by 5 is 60, times 4 is 240. So I get negative 240 for question E. And then the last one you're going to do, question F, I'm also going to give you three minutes for this one. Okay, you should, be last, you should be done with that last question, so let's go through it. So in this question we had 8 times, in brackets, 6 minus 3 times 4, then divided by, in new brackets, 12 minus 5 times 3, and then times in 6, and then in new brackets, 3 times 4 minus 6 times 2. Okay, so first of all, our multiplication inside the brackets. We've got 8, and then 6 minus 3 times 4 is 12, divided by... 12 minus, in bracket, then the uh, 5 times 3 is 15, times 6, and then in brackets, 3 times 4 is 12, minus 6 times 2 is also 12. Okay, so this gives us 8 times 6 minus 12 is negative 6, divided by 12 minus 5 is negative 3, multiplied by 6 times 12 minus 12 is 0. Okay, so now I actually don't have to worry about any of what is over here because what I see over here is that I am multiplying by 0. And because I'm multiplying by 0, I know that my answer is going to end up being 0. It doesn't matter what else I'm doing over here because I'm multiplying by 0, my final answer is going to be 0. Okay, and that is what you should have got for question F. 
I hope that that has helped you now to understand how to work with uh, mixed operations when, we, when we're using integers. So we have positive and negative numbers that we're working with. Now that we've learned the concepts in this lesson, it's important to practice, practice, practice. If you haven't already got the worksheet that goes with this video, you can find it by clicking on the link in the description below. The worksheet comes with an extra exercise full of questions for you to work on to master the concepts covered in this lesson. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button so that others can benefit from it too. Also be sure to subscribe so that you can easily find my other lessons and hit the bell so that you will get notified about lessons as I upload them.